in Washington today meeting with U.S. officials. Our sound off segment focuses in on weapons uh, inspectors going to Iraq, perhaps. Today's guests are the syndicated radio talk show host Nancy Skinner. She's joining us from Boston. And WABC talk show host Steve Malzberg. He's joining us from our New York bureau. Uh, Steve, let me begin with you. Is all of this talk of inspection simply a waste of time? Well, I, I think it's a proper procedure that needs to be followed. However, I'm glad to hear that the uh, chief of the arm inspections uh, team has uh, kind of capitulated and agreed, under pressure from the U.S., no doubt, that uh, these inspections need to be fully unfettered, fully free, and they need to have total access. Otherwise, they are totally worthless. And uh, without uh, access to the presidential palaces, without access to uh, aerial shots, without access uh, to schools and, and hospitals, uh, it, it's a way, that would be a waste of time. If they could do it absolutely right, absolutely unfettered, then it's a different story. I don't think that's ever going to happen, though. Nancy, you, you, you have hope that, that it might happen? It, it, it has to happen, I think, for this to go forward. Um, the Bush administration at first said it's a waste of time, it's a trick, and, uh, you know, where are we now with world opinion, U.S. opinion? Ninety-three percent of Americans in a Gallup poll said they want those inspections to go forward. They want to exhaust all non-military means first, and then, of course, if they um, put up stumbling blocks, then we have the right to take military action. The key is, Wolf, we can't booby-trap these inspections. We can't set this resolution up and these inspections up in such a way that we know immediately we're going to run into problems and then attack. Well, right, look, look. Saddam Hussein, they, they've already told the UN team that you will not go to the presidential palaces. So right off the bat, boom, did we booby trap that? Look, they're at our will. We went to war with them. We stopped kicking their butts under conditions. They violated those conditions. They violate them every day, and we take unilateral action with, well, along with Great Britain when they lock onto our planes in the no-fly zone. But we don't go running Steve, to the UN all the time. Steve, we, they have to do what we right. say. Not, not, we don't have to ask them. What conditions Nancy, do go we ahead. go to war over? See, that's my concern. This House resolution that was passed supports military force to, uh, to enact all relevant resolutions. Well, does that mean we have to go to a war if Iraq does not pay Kuwait reparations? Does that mean that we can attack them or if they are sneaking oil outside of the restrictions? Does that mean that's good enough because they've broken that to go to war? I don't think so. It means we can under that resolution. It doesn't necessarily that's mean ludicrous, we will. Then. But the fact is he's never going to give us the unfettered access, so that's going to be a moot point. Right. Look, yeah. L let, me, let me interrupt. I got some emails. Our viewers are sending us tons of emails. Nancy, this is for you. Saddam is talking through uh, the side of his mouth. He first said inspections could be unfettered. Now he says no inspections of palaces. He is using stalling tactics. The only language he knows is force, so we should use it. That's a view out there, Nancy. Yes, but you, I think the, the larger prevailing view is let prove it. Prove that he's going to do this. I don't think that he's going to be cooperative, but we must walk through the steps because we've been there before. And then you, have, you can, by doing that, remove any doubt that there is a political element to this, that there may be, who knows, oil involved, vengeance involved. Look at the high political season we're in. Nancy, Why would we a, rush to right. war? Let me pick up exactly on that point, Steve. Uh, let me read you this email we just got from Lee in uh, Arizona. Bush is manipulating the public and media with regard to Iraq, and the media is eating it up. Exploiting the Iraqi issue increases ratings and sells newspapers. There's no real reason to go to war. Look, this is so ridiculous. From the same people on the extreme left wing of the uh, Democratic Party in the Senate, they're the ones waving the newspaper headlines that say, why did Bush know? When did he know it? In fact, Hillary Clinton said just yesterday, she still wants to know that. She still wants that answered. We know a lot about Iraq. To ignore Iraq and wait until we suffer the consequences would be criminal. And President Bush will not allow the security of this nation to be compromised because there are some on the extreme left wing of the Democratic Party saying, Saddam isn't so bad. Be easy on Saddam. No, Don't no, no, Steve, nobody is saying that. And it's yes, unfair to characterize it as this. We're not saying uh, advocating full NATO membership for Iraq. We are saying the how and when we go about this are very important. Uh, for our own national security, the consequences could be disastrous if we don't do this correctly. Look, you All know, right. uh, 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 Steve, uh, go ahead. You'll have the last you, word. Made, you, you made a great point in, with your last guest, the Cuban Missile Crisis. John Kennedy said, we will talk to anybody, we'll make our case to anybody, any international organization, but we reserve the right to, to defend ourselves and act alone. That's what President All Bush right. is doing right here. Steve Malzberg, we've got to leave it right there. Nancy Skinner, thanks to you as well. You guys listen. Uh, you guys are listened by millions of uh, listeners on radio talk shows every day. You know what the mood is on the country, at least.
according to the feedback you're getting. But when we come back, what do the American people really think about going to war? Still to come, we'll get some expert polling uh, n numbers. What the public